Hey, what's up? Tyson France from Motion Revolver here with a quick tip. I just wanted to show you how to quickly cut out an image using the pen tool inside of After Effects so that we don't have to worry about jumping into Photoshop. Um, if you don't have access to Photoshop, you're not familiar with with Photoshop, there are some instances where uh, you can very easily cut out an object from the background inside of After Effects. So the image we're going to be using here is uh, this full body portrait of a professional businesswoman by M Image Photography on uh, Photodune. Uh, I'm gonna provide a link to this image so that you can go ahead and purchase it if you're interested in using it. But I've just downloaded um, I've downloaded the uh, preview image for these purposes uh, to my desktop. So we're going to dive into, into uh, After Effects here, and I will import the file. All right, so we have the image right here in our project window. I'm just going to grab this image and hover over the comp icon to create a new comp with this image. Uh, so this will create a comp the exact dimensions of uh, the image size. Um, then if you want to resize the comp, uh, you can go ahead and do so if that's what you'd like to do. But we're just going to leave it as is. All right, so we have our image Im uh, imported and placed into a composition. What we're going to do next is grab our pen tool. And uh, we want to make sure that the regular pen tool is selected. And... Uh, we can zoom in here by clicking Command plus or Command minus on the keyboard to sort of uh, get a better look at our image. We could also, if we have the composition window uh, activated, we can hit the tilde key on our keyboard and that will take us into, uh, it'll solo this, this window within the interface so we don't have anything else uh, interfering like the timeline in our way or any of our other palettes here on the left or right of the screen. So all we have is a giant palette here to work with. So we've zoomed in, zoomed in pretty far. We have our pen tool activated. All we have to do here is uh, begin clicking and dragging along the outline of the image. And uh, for our purposes here, we don't need to be super accurate or detailed about the sort of uh, path that we're drawing but we're just gonna go around the image. Um, if you're familiar with doing this in Photoshop, it's basically the same process with the pen tool. Um, really no difference between the pen tool in After Effects and the pen tool in Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop obviously has more powerful tools when it comes to image selection and uh, soloing a background and, and uh, isolating an object uh, from its background. So if you're familiar with Photoshop and you are comfortable using Photoshop, then uh, by all means, please go ahead and uh, use Photoshop to um, cut out objects from your images or from the background because Photoshop, in reality, Photoshop is uh, gonna have the more powerful tools for uh, items, especially if you need to make um, a more detailed uh, and complicated selection like as as far as like isolating individual hairs on somebody's head or something like that you might want to use Photoshop's tools so once we clicked I'm gonna actually undo that we're at our last point once we close this path uh, we we get to this final point and we're just about to close the path you see there's a little circle that appears next to uh, the pen tool if we click on that that closes the path and automatically cuts the background out so we're gonna toggle out of our isolated view by hitting the tilde key again. And as you can see, we have a path selected around our object or our uh, person in, in uh, this case. So when we uh, toggle on the transparency grid, we can see that uh, the image is indeed isolated and there's no more background to the image and we can move it around and animate it and uh, it now becomes an asset within our project. But one more quick thing that I wanted to cover is uh, as you can see, there is a space here that also needs to be cut out. And a lot of times you'll encounter that with some of your objects that need to be cut out. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use our pen tool again. We're gonna grab that one more time and we're gonna create another separate mask and just draw our path to cut out what we need to for this 
portion here. Now, when I close this path, you'll see nothing actually happens. Um, there's one additional step we need to take in After Effects to cut out this portion. I'm just gonna make a few adjustments here, uh, right? There's just a f one more step we have to make when creating masks in After Effects uh, for cutouts, uh, especially when we're using more than one mask on a single layer like we are here. So I'm gonna highlight the layer and I am going to uh, hit the M key for mask, M for mask, whoops, didn't wanna do that. All right, so we highlighted the layer, we hit the M key to show all of the masks on the layer. The second mask, mask number two, is the one that we created here to create the cutout. Um, but it's currently in add mode, which means um, the the mask is, is adding to the image instead of subtracting from it. And what we want the mask to do is actually subtract from the image instead. So we're gonna click on this little drop down menu and click subtract. Now subtract mode removes the mask portion from the image. So now if we zoom all the way out, as you can see, we have a fully cut out image that we can now use um, any way we want within our project. Um, so like I said, this is probably the quickest and simplest way to achieve uh, a fairly good looking mask result within After Effects. Um, again, if you're more comfortable using Photoshop, there's always that option. But if you don't wanna take that extra step by jumping from one application to the other, uh, this is a great method as well. I really hope you found this quick tip useful. Thanks for watching and good luck with your project.